Here's the last time it broke that light blue line, right? Here's the last time it broke that light blue line. Look, look, look what happened here, right? So check this out. I mean, it's the same thing, guys. Look what this thing is. Look where it closed, right? Watch Net NVIDIA this week. This is definitely my top watch this week. Um... Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey everybody, good evening and welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing great. Hope everybody had a wonderful uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all that stuff. Uh, we are uh, down the stretch, right? We only have, after today, we only have uh, three days left in uh, 2022. And ever since uh, the market broke down below the 50-day moving average, uh, we are limping uh, across the finish line. Guys, welcome aboard. For all you guys who are brand new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. You'll get an instant notification when we are upload. If you like the content, we all we ask of you is just, again, support the channel. Just click a like uh, so we can continue to uh, provide an unbiased opinion of what's going on in the market. And, and I think, again, when you're a brand new trader, um, you know, all these sequences that you go through, all these, you know, all these years that pass by, you have to make sure that they don't just go by because you're just learning the market, you're, you're, you're retaining information. And one of the things that, you know, we always say is the importance of significant context, the importance of significant lines in the sand, the events. And the one thing that we keep on reiterating over and over and over again, especially on a broadcast, you know, ever so often, the importance of understanding your overall surroundings. So in the middle of the night, you're not walking down a dark alley. You want to make sure that you're walking down the street in a very uh, light uh, area just because, well, you, there's a chance you'll get mugged, right? There's always a shot you get mugged. And that's kind of the point of going into every single trading day, knowing exactly the macro, right? The macro view of what is going on. And if we go back only to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days ago, right? Eight days ago, we talked about the significance of what happens when you lose the 50-day moving average. Uh, some people will listen, some people will not, some people will learn the hard way, and some people will completely put on the blinders and just, nah, 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 it won't happen to me. All right, that's cool, that's all great and all. But again, remember, the market doesn't have to explain to you what, why things are happening, they're just going to happen, right? There's only two types of outcomes in the stock market. A stock can go either go up or it could go down. It can't do either. But if you know the signals, if you know, um, if you know that if you can recognize the dangers, if you can recognize the importance of supply and demand zones, and identify and know the ramifications of what happens next, then you're probably going to be in control of your trading. If you're one of these traders who watched the broadcast one and said, ah, this schmuck with this 50-day moving average, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Well, here we are eight days later, and again, who cares was eight days ago. Now it's to the point of, oh God, I hope the bleeding stops. And that's the whole point. If you've been watching this broadcast for a long, long time, you know the significance of the 50-day moving average. We've kind of outlined in nausea what happens when uh, the bears take over the 50-day moving average. The last sequence of events happened from uh, November, uh, excuse me, August the 29th, uh, all the way to uh, November the 10th. And you know, here's the current sequence of events that is happening when the bears took over on December the 15th. And here we are again, uh, stone throws away from last week's lows. And the, the question is, well, you know, again, how much longer can this take? Again, if you've been watching this video, you know, the last several sequence of events below the 50 day moving average took about three, four months. You know, we're, you know, we're on, you know, a week and a half in. So it's not really one of those scenarios that the market is oversold. We're not, we're not even close. We're not, if you look at the cues, we're not even at the bottom of the range. If we were having the conversation right here at 215, at least you could turn around and say, well, this market is oversold. We always say every single day, don't expect the stocks to go straight down. It, I don't care how bad the market is. The, the, the 50 day moving average is just your guide, your macro guide of potential kind of happens next. Things are not gonna go straight down. Just like in a bull market, they're not gonna go straight up. There's always debt cad de uh, days that the market does rally. Uh, give you some little bit of relief like a drowning victim uh, that is being kind of forced down and you know right now we're still seeing and again the data is proving it in real time every single day for everybody to see that 
seven, eight out of 10 days are going to be to the downside as long as we continue to build below the 50 day moving average. And when you start looking, uh, when you start looking at a lot of names, you know, we're starting to get back to uh, the previous day's lows. Uh, the previous week's lows. That's a kind of important point, kind of going into um, into today, into tomorrow's session, and kind of for the rest of of 2022. And if you look at where the predominant selling is coming from, it is coming from the Nasdaq. It is coming uh, from the technology space. And again, you could go see, you could see all the bodies that are pretty much. Uh, laid out uh, on the on the battlefield every single day. Uh, the Dow is not the issue right now, right? If you look at the Dow Jones uh, Industrial Average, and we'll use the diamonds as a proxy, right? The Dow had a great run. It came back into the 50-day moving average. You know, it's actually making, in a weird way, it's actually making higher lows in the last four or five days of sequence. Uh, if you look at the SPY, right? You know, it is below the 50-day moving average, right? It, you know, it, again, it's not bleeding. You know, bleeding. You know, your, your body dry like the NASDAQ, but again, it's not a good thing that we're sitting below, uh, you know, we're sitting below this 387 uh, on the SPY. Again, the longer you build, the higher probability you go lower. And again, before anybody turns around and says the market is oversold, just again, look how much room that the recent lows were in October, right? The spies were at 348. So how could 381 be oversold, right? It just, it's just, it just common sense. Like I said a few minutes ago, nothing is gonna go straight up. So you are going to have uh, days that the SPY is going to go higher. You're going to have days that the NASDAQ 100 is going to go higher. But but always remember the most basic thing, and, and we, we've, we've pressed this point uh, a thousand million gazillion quadrillion times. Technical words, by the way, right? Over the 50-day, bullish, below the 50-day, bearish. And again, that's the point. And if you looked at uh, the weekend video, we recorded it, I recorded, uh, I believe it was on Saturday morning, uh, you know, I really was focused in only on one or two names. I was looking for a Tesla reversal that obviously never came. I'm still looking for that. We'll get to that in a second. And I was looking at NVIDIA, right? That's the first thing we talked about. Matter of fact, one of the very few things uh, we talked about on the on the video uh, over the weekend. I love this 50-day moving. Uh, you know, again, we, we, I made a pretty good case here. The last time uh, NVIDIA took down the 50-day moving average, had a 30-point move in four days. Uh, today, it finally snapped the bottom of the channel. We discussed this on uh, the nightly video, like we saw, we said on the weekend, they were coming for the 144, 140 puts. Uh, right now, it is trading after hours right above 140, uh, right above 140, but a a amazing move, absolutely amazing move. Uh, the saga continues uh, with Tesla. I mean, I don't know where this bottom is. I don't. Uh, every single day, I, I turn around and I go, hell, man, we need a washout for this thing to go red to green. Still waiting, right? Still waiting. Again, eventually this thing has to turn around, but I'm not, you know, I'm not by any stretch of the imagination. Am I looking for bottoms? I don't care that much. I know we're gonna know, trust me, we're gonna know uh, when there is a, a really, you know, throw the baby out with the bathwater uh, type of scenario uh, because we'll see, you know, gap down six, seven, eight points. And the key, in my opinion, again, this is where reversals come. You need that move pre-market, right? You need that aggressive selling pre-market. Uh, and you need to start seeing institutional money flow come in into weakness with deep out of the money uh, short-term expiration calls. That's the only way it'll, it'll signal, at least give you some clues that at least a trading bottom. When I say trading bottom, I, I don't mean the stock is gonna go back up 30, 40%. I mean, literally a trading bottom. Maybe for that day, maybe for two, three hours, maybe for a couple of days. But those are the kind of the elements you need. You need everybody to be out of the stock. You want, you want everybody to cut shares. You need institutional money flow to come in uh, deep, again, deep out of the money, short-term expiration. And then and only then you probably have a shot uh, at a red to green, you know, opening range type of move. We'll see. We'll see if we get it. I, again, unfortunately, what it looks like here, right? I don't have a position in it. Uh, what it looks like, it wants to, you know, it wants to test that 100 first. And, you know, again, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't think most people know what's going on. Elon has basically said he's not selling stock till, uh, you know, for two years. Who the hell knows? Uh, if it's true or if it's not true. But again, like I've been saying in last night, the previous night, the previous night, pre somebody's selling, right? Somebody's selling. And they're not coming in with 100 share lots. They're selling. You watch this thing pre-market. They're coming in with 20, 30, 40,000 share lots and they're showing it. It's not like there's a reload seller sitting there showing 500, you know, 500 lots or selling 30,000. They're showing it. So we don't know. I, I, I just have this feeling, you know, you know, this is going to turn into one of those Netflix docu-series five years from now with some crazy plot wild twist, 
you know, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be as as crazy as the guy from what's the guy's name um, from the from, from the what are they called? Um, what's that dude's name that that ran away to the jungle? And uh, he he had the he had the um, McAfee McAfee McAfee. I don't know if it's gonna end that way by him killing somebody or you know I don't know that way. But I have this crazy feeling that uh, Tesla's gonna wind up to be some sort of docu series in the next three to five years. We'll see. You know we'll we'll absolutely see. Um, you know, so going into tomorrow, um, you know, I'm focused, you know, on the sell side. I'm always focused on the sell side. If you're below the 50 day, um, I think Nvidia, you know, I think Nvidia based on, you know, first day below the 50 day moving average, if it confirms tomorrow, uh, I think there's a shot of more downside. Uh, Amazon is getting, you know, Amazon is getting, you know, heavy again, right? It's getting heavy again. Again, the ranges are getting tighter, but it's getting heavy again. Look at the cues. Q's look like they're about to approach uh, last week's lows. And ironic part about a technical analysis, and this is why I always say, trade the stocks that you're comfortable. Not that I'm comfortable, but you're comfortable. I trade beta, I trade Tesla, Nvidia, Amazon, so forth and so on. And I, I identified names, I talked about names on the weekend update that I myself have no interest in, right? But the, but, but the point is, whether I am in the stock, you're in the stock, they're either gonna technically confirm or not. And if you go back to the weekend video, we talked about the Crocs, right? We talked about Crocs. Look at the moving Crocs today. Crocs are five today. Look at the move on Caterpillar, right? Right? These are names we discussed in the video. And again, might not be something that I have interest in, but this is why trading is so is so cool. You get to pick your comfort zone. You get to pick uh, where you fit in the best. Where is your lane? And, and this is why uh, for all you guys who are growing up on social media and trading, all these stupid alert services, you're trading with somebody else is comfortable, right? Think about this. How can you possibly go into a trade if you have no comfortability, right? These alerts are the death of you, okay? Stop with these nonsense alerts. Trust technical analysis. No matter if, if I've never said anything to you that makes any sense and you think I'm a complete idiot and all that stuff, which I am, by the way, right? Trust me, technical analysis is the judge jury and executioner stocks are either going to test supply confirm and go higher or they're going to test demand confirm and go lower it doesn't work any other way right you can't be a little bit pregnant and technical analysis is not subjective once we got below the 50-day moving average on the queues we kind of knew what was about to happen next once you get above the 50-day moving average you kind of have an idea what happens next but the most important part is drown out the noise right forget about the so nonsense social media is doing concentrate on technical analysis and I'll, you'll be shocked what you can accomplish in your career once you have total control uh just a quick announcement we are running our last promotion guys uh through the new year if you're if you're concentrating in the new year and you want to uh dabble in pivots and see if it's the right fit for you because i promise you it's not a good fit for everybody but if you have been on the fence and you want to take advantage of we have like three days left uh, for uh, the special promotion. And then we won't have another one to like Labor Day or Memorial Day. So you have about six, seven months of, of nothing. So guys, have a great night. Stay blessed for all you guys who are trading tomorrow. We'll continue to, to trade as well. If not, Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys uh, down the road. God bless everybody. I'll see you tomorrow's video.